Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with cube one of the bi-weekly contest 88. We move letter to equalize frequency. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's uh, or this problem. Um, yeah, as you can see, there are actually a lot of wrong answers on this one. Uh, let me refresh real quick because I'm a little bit, you know. Yeah, so a lot of submissions, a lot of wrong answers. Um, so definitely, I got a wrong answer here too, and a lot of the top people did as well. So I don't know, maybe this is the hardest, uh, maybe reading is the hardest part of this contest. And for me, I, I actually don't know what people misread or if people just did some silly edge cases or something like that. But the part that I misread was for, for some reason, I thought that every letter was appearing once and not equal. So I kind of wrote my code to that and then I submitted it and it was wrong for obvious reasons. Um, I don't know why. I, I mean, some part of it, of course, is that I was just rushing it for the contest because it's Q1. Usually, um, if you look at my recent Q1s, I finish in about a minute or two and then just submit right without thinking about it. And that's that's what happened here. Um, so that was th this is totally my fault, but I don't know why that happened. Um, there are a couple of linear time solutions or or, or of alpha solutions, but in this case, given that n is a hundred, the thing that I always say is you know do the simplest thing, do the uh, simplest stupid thing that works, right? And in this case, I just did an n square thing, right? What I did is that for each i, I removed that character, and then that's it. And then I checked to see that all the values are the same in the counter. So this is n square, n is 100, n square will be fast enough. Um, if you want to do it the, the cool way, which I did not do, to be frank, as you can see, um, you know, you can just do, and I actually, if you watch me solve it live during the contest, um, and you can see that this problem actually, including the penalty, took more time to, than the other three problems combined. But the idea is just, yeah, it is just what you think it is, right? And being very careful about it, which is um, count all the counts and then look at the, look at the result of all those counts and then just check to see that they're all the same. Um, that's way much the answer. I think there's there are a couple of cool ways of doing it as well. Um, what I mean by that, for example, I think I'm not going to submit this because I'm still in contest time. Um, but I think you can do something like C as you go to collections dot counter dot word right, and then C dot values. You can do like D as you go to collections dot C dot values, something like that, right? Um, and then you can say uh, min of C dot values. Um, my x is equal to min start value, and then uh, d dot values. You say you have a length of that. No wait, that messed it up. Yeah. Oh, length of c dot values. So then now. Oh, maybe I didn't need this. That's why I got confused. So then you have min of this, and then you have l is equal to this. Then you have then sum of c dot values is should be equal to x times l plus one, something like that is what I would have, have tried to do, and I was trying to do it really quickly. And now, actually, I did this live here, so I don't know if this is right, but that's one of the, something like this is the idea that I would play with to kind of get around all those cases. Um, but feel free to play around, and of course, yeah, this is just going to be linear time if this is right. Uh, yeah. Uh, don't know if this is right though, so don't hold me on this one because like I said, I don't I don't want to submit it because I'm in contest time. I, I don't know. Things get weird during contest. So yeah, um, the, and it's, you know, yeah, uh, for interview, obviously do the more smarter one, but on an interview, you also have more time. I mean, not that we have a time limit on Q1. This is just something like if you're trying to go for top 10 or something like this, you do have a time limit on Q1, right? That's why... I think that's why a lot of people kind of uh, have wrong answer in, on this one. So yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know what attempt you did. Uh, there, this is not the only solution. There are way more solutions, a lot of like special casing solutions. Definitely show it to me in the comments or on my Discord, which a lot of people do, and I appreciate it. So yeah, anyway, you could watch me solve it live during the contest next, including the silly mistake and misreading. Ha. Must delete a character.
That's fine. Oh, shit. Did I miss an equalized frequency? Oh, I thought it was only frequency of one. I totally misread this. This is the kind of silly mistake I was hoping not to do. Okay, fine. Um, hmm. Let's see. Ah. Mm. Ah. Uh. Uh. I totally misread this for some reason. Yeah, I just did it. I just still believe. It. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's contest and these problems and my explanation. See you later. Stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. Take care and goodbye.